This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. This time I'm playing with the Magic Bullets again. I can't play with this on Dueling Book because they are not legal for release. You can only play with them in Unrated, and there's literally no reason to be playing on Dueling Book if you're going to be playing in Unrated, unless you're playing older formats and stuff like that. Uh, and so, instead of just like going through the motions of having to explain to people what Magic Bolts do in the unrated portion and trying to organize recording with other people, I just went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. I might give Dawn of the New Era a new try. Ooh! Oh! Okay. Well, at least at least what I'm dealing with here is is uh, is Trumids, um, which is not going to be too big of an issue. Let's see. This is shuffle into the deck if you do all rocks. Game 500. Uh, you can target Triumid, send it to the graveyard, and then activate one from your deck with a different name. And this is the one that gives them 500 second defense, and your opponent's card effects cannot be activated until the damage step if they battle, and then it lets him special summon a Triumid from their, from the hand. Okay. Fair. Alright. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to use... I'm going to attempt to summon Shooter Star and use one of these tune tables. Uh, but, I mean, this deck has a very big glaring weakness to, uh, to normal summons. Uh, like, you, as you can see, my hand just has tons of normal summons clogged in it. Uh, let's see, is my... Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off right now. Uh, no auto card placing, please. Uh, I opened double toon tables, which is kind of unfortunate. But we'll see what happens here. If I get striked, this sucks. Uh, but I need to summon... Yes! Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up summoning kid out of my deck and then I'm going to ties of the brethren under kid for um, for the cast bar and the doctor and then the kid is going to trigger discarding the extra cast bar uh, so that'll be good Whoop. <laughs> tried to click on the monster but so select the effect to target this one I'm going to target this one and hopefully this all goes through uh, the thing is his triamid things are going to be problematic to a certain degree but, let's see, this is going to be Caspar, which I can summon in defense mode. It's huge. It's got a huge defensive value. Um, and I'm actually afraid of Sphinx to a degree, but actually not really, because I can just make one of my dudes big enough to attack over it. Doesn't seem like that'd be a huge fa uh, like factor. But, so, I'm going to discard the Shooter Star to draw two with my kid. And I have access to this still, so I can still do this under the cast bar, which I was really hoping that I'd be able to have done this in a little bit of a different way. I wish I would have like drawn other cards, essentially, because right now what I have is this nonsense. Let's see, I can you can target one and send it, so I need to be able to force this somehow. Uh, hmm, questions. Well, Death Parado is obviously just the go-to card. There's no reason not to be doing that, and... Not really any of the other cards in my hand are really worthwhile, uh, other than just like setting this warning, which I could set here, because he's got these, this card here, which he might activate, uh, and then I could set, I don't want to set Tune Table because it can't be activated. Uh, so yeah, we'll just literally set that one warning and we'll pass turn. We'll attempt to pass turn, because what we'll do is, okay, Tree Midnancer, doing that. And then it's going to special summon a Trimid regardless, so I'm going to let it go. I can't believe I have to give this much thought process into dealing with a Trimid deck, but uh, that's kind of the way this has to go. But, okay, so Trimid Fortress, and that's the one that special summons one from hand. What does Fortress do? Gain 500 attack and defense, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um, and then it lets him target Trimid and Grave and add to hand. Okay. I'm not afraid of this. The only thing that could really ruin my day is if Sphinx just came out of his hand, uh, like randomly. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, let's see. What does this thing do again? Uh, cannot be special summoned if a Trimid, except Trimid Sphinx, destroyed by battle card effect, special summoned from your hand. While you control another monster, another Trimid card, this card gets 500 attack for each field spell with a different name in the graveyard. Um, and I can't attack anything except for the Sphinx, right? Uh, yeah, I can't attack anything except the Sphinx. Uh, but so that is fine. Let's see, what is this? Um, I am going to destroy that. I'm going to negate the summon of that and destroy it. And then my star will trigger, which will allow me to summon a uh, a calamity. That way, when things 
start inevitably going wrong. Uh, the Calamity will be there to bring back cards that die. I've got another Caspar in my hand, so that's fine. That's the most important one to establish another one next turn of. Uh, so I'm going to start holding down A before things get a little out of hand. What is this? Um, oh, it's targeting the thing and putting it back in the deck. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So this is 3k. So what I need to do, right, is I need to be able to... Let's see, this can't be destroyed by card effects, right? Uh, let's see. It's, it doesn't have any protection, but this is what gives it protection. Okay. Can't be destroyed by card effects. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> so what I can do here is when he attacks, right, he's attacking this. Uh, what I can do is I can use my Death Parado under Caspar. I'll use Death Parado under Caspar, and I'll use it to... Let's see, does he have a tree mid in his grave? Um, I need to... Which one is the one that looks at my opponent's grave? It's F5, right? F2? No. F6? That one. Okay. So I'll destroy Tree Amid Fortress. Uh, because he doesn't have a Tree Amid Monster in Grave. So that's fine. And then we'll use Caspar's effect to add Cross Dominator. And I'll use Cross Dominator on the Sphinx. Because currently he's still attacking. There's nothing that has stopped his attack. There's no replay that's occurring. And I'm going to use Cross Dominator uh, under, the, uh, under the Doctor so that I get my Never Endorphin back. So I will use Cross Dominator under Doctor and use it on Sphinx. So this will make Sphinx zero, and the attack is still taking place. We're still in battle steps right now, so that's going to be perfectly fine. The Sphinx is the only card I'm worried about because it's bigger than all the other stuff, but I can still get over it with Cross Dominator and Never Endorphin in weird cheeky shenanigans. So Cross Dominator will put its attack down to zero. It'll lose its effect. What is this? Um, Banish your cards from your graveyard. Uh, target a feast up card on the field and destroy it. Okay, so this is going to be a card that stops the battle from happening. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, I should have waited to, uh, to do this until later because that stopped the attack from happening 100%. But what I get to do is I get to add Death Parado back to my hands. And I lost my star, which is fine. Calamity can bring it back. Uh, he can't kill anything of actual merit here with this, because it's 11. He literally can only kill Kid, which I'm fine with, because Calamity could bring it back. I've got Caspar in my hand. There's way too many activities that I have uh, available to me. Uh, but this is Banish Two Cards from Your Graveyard. It has to be Rocks and Field Spells, so he can't use this effect again on my turn. And I'll have to deal with this one pack row. Why am I going so hard with Theory against Trimids? That's what's, that's what's getting me the most, right? Is that I'm going in with all this theory against a Trimid deck. Do I play rank 3s? Uh, like Alucard? I play a Breaksword. Oh. Um, oh, I play Grand Pulse. Yes, boy. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make Grand Pulse with Doctor and Caspar. And we are going to use the Grand Pulse to pop his back row. I can use the Death Parado to destroy his Sphinx. Yes, I like this. All right, so we'll do that. I have double summon, so I'll be able to summon Caspar, do things, uh, goes and match. Sure, that's fine. Uh, yeah, is there anything protecting this? No, there's nothing protecting this. And then there's nothing protecting this. I'm gonna go ahead and chain this under my Calamity to destroy this. And then so, that goes and match is going to... This is neither one of the selections that I have. I'm not picking... Oh wait, yes it is. I, I assumed the magic bullets were fire. I was about to just pick water randomly. Um, so let's, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not have these problems. Oh my god, that was almost bad. Uh, but so I'll, I'll summon star back. It'll go here. I can activate my I can normal summon Caspar, right? Go normal summon Caspar, I'm gonna activate double summon under it. And that will allow me to search for a card that I can then activate under my uh, under my star. So I can activate this, I could get um, I can get never endorphin, which could go under this. I could literally just put strike under my thing. Um, or I could put that under the doctor. Uh, so yeah we'll get we'll get never endorphin here. 
uh, and then we'll play Never Endorphin under Star just to just to boost the cast bar uh, so that it can attack over this. And then we'll use Star's effect to summon the Doctor out of deck. And this should be a really good situation for me here. Because I can't activate this, but I can just suck it up and play the Toon World. So if I play the Toon World here, I'm going to lose a thousand. I can use this thing's effects to add back my Death Parado, which is all I really care about, putting Death Parado under the, uh, under the cast bar. And then I can kill this, and then I have Strike, and then literally I've ground him down out of cards. So, <laughs> Trumids! The most underwhelming deck I ever did play against. Uh, but So I will set this, and I'll set this under Calamity. Because there are still cards that Calamity can bring back. Like Kid. Uh, so we will pass turn with this. Uh, seems pretty alright. But that Grand Pulse hitting in Gozen match that didn't matter? Mm -hmm. So if there's anything you should take from this video, it's that Trumids are most definitely worse than Magic Bullets. Uh, because I have... What is this? Eight cards to his two, and he could even draw like a Raigeki or something, and it wouldn't matter because I could just chain. Um, I could just chain things or draw cards next turn. I wouldn't be able to chain anything actually. Well, it depends on where he plays the Raigeki. If he's stupid, he he would play the Raigeki in any zone. Well, no, it doesn't actually matter if your Raigeki's in any of these because these will all leave the field, and then things would happen. Uh, but so he's gonna trim mid pulse this with this. What is he? Which effect is he using? Um, to destroy a card on the field. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, even even he realized that it didn't matter. All right. Well, anyway, I might go check out the Dawn of a New Era again to see if the link implementation they have there has been a little bit more stabilized than it was in the past. I gave it a chance in the past, and it was uh, a bit problematic. But anyway, I'm gonna might check that out, and then the next video might be me playing on it because. Dueling Book is too laggy for me to make videos out of right now. Uh, I'm trying to work it out, trying to figure out how I can accelerate my own process, but it's it's something on my computer, and I might just have to do another deep cleaning of my computer. That might literally be it. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, get into monthly giveaways for 10 packs, things of that nature, various other rewards, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and consider doing something to support the channel directly if you want to do so. Special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, and Yuki Phoenix, and all the other people that have been so helpful as to support me on Patreon for the last month. They've been making my content creation a lot easier because they've been allowing me to be able to dedicate more time into things uh, for what I'm trying to figure out for the future. But thank you so much to you guys for the support. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like the video. Do uh, Like the video, basically. Support the channel. Holy shit. But anyway, thanks for your time, as I've already said. Thanks for your time. I can't figure out what the fuck I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.